Dalej pytanie na mnie trwało 7 minut. Mike, 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 thank you, Lord. You are here, giving me the courage. No
स्विमिंग को स्विमिंग एवरीवन साली गुड इवनिंग अंतनेत एरिक गुड इवनिंग माय सिस्टर इज वाचिंग इन कनाडा we will be starting in uh, four minutes so, so it's uh, great is also watching right now good evening po sana po kayo well watching with us na ay sorry po ayan medyo okay na po ba yung ano okay mauhulog na po kasi sa mesa nasa edge na ng mesa yung uh, mic wala na naman praise god good evening po again Two minutes po. Uh, I'm we are also live on uh, actually on YouTube. Sobrang lakas daw ng volume. Ano ba yun? Sabi po ni Sis Olivia. Alin po ba yung malakas? Uh, hinaan nyo na lang po yung volume nyo. No? Sabi naman po ng iba eh. No, malaka. Sabi ng iba ay mahina. Ano ba yun? From Lucky, welcome. Pasend na lang po ng uh, yung sa mga sa mga kapatid po natin na hindi pa nakaka-tune in, hindi pa nakapanood and uh, they're still looking for the, for the broadcast can you just share with them yung yung uh, address po yung link just send them the link please okay send na lang po sa kanila yung link natin and we will be starting in about a minute Meiji, good evening. Bell is watching as well. Good evening. Mahina daw. Okay. Ngayon, malakas. Mahina po. Okay. Sige. Nalakas. Mahina po talaga kanina yung boses ko. Pero pag nilakasan ko po, ay talagang malakas. Ano po? Floor is watching as well. Good evening, Floor. Ate Bell, good evening. Yan. Okay? So, pwede na po tayong mag-start. Sige po, tayo po uh, let us close our eyes and bow our heads. Hallelujah. Let's pray. God is with us right now. Pinasamahan tayo ng Lord ngayong gabi. For He has said in His word, two or three, God, that in His name, He will be in our midst. Yes, Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this evening, because once again, Lord, you have allowed us to broadcast your word. 
your message to your people. Salamat po, Ama. Sabagkat, Lord, you never fail to guide us, to protect us, oh Lord. Every day of our life, Lord, ay kami po ay patuloy mo, Lord, sinasamahan. Hindi mo kami pinababayaan. Patuloy mo, Lord, na kami po ay ingatan um, through all this, oh God. Alam mo po, Lord, na that you are in full control of all our situation. Wala pong hidden sa iyo, Lord. Walang nakali na Lord, lingid sa walang lingid sa iyong kaalaman. Lahat pong ito, Lord, na nangyayari it is with your within your control, Lord, because you are a sovereign God. You are all, all powerful God. We thank you, Father God. Salamat po, oh Dios. Cleanse us, Lord. By the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Patawarin mo po kami, Ama, kung we have taken for granted Lord, your presence in our life. We have taken for granted a lot of things that you have bestowed us, Lord. Ang daming bagay, Lord, na dapat kami ipagpasalamat. Pero Lord, patuloy kami. Nagkukumplain most of the time. We still look for something. Kulang pa rin. And you are our great provider. And I mean, believe, Father God, na lahat ng ito, Lord, will come to pass. Lord, tutulungan mo po kami. In despite of our shortcomings, you're still our God. You're still our Father. Salamat po, O Diyos. Magalak ka sa amin, Lord. Maluwalhati ka namin. Lord, let there be answered prayers tonight, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Hallelujah. Full volume daw. Uh, mahina pa rin. Praise God. Camille is watching right now. Thank you po. Glory to God po. No. As I was, um, last night, I, we had this uh, chain prayer with the UAE, uh, with most of the UAE pastors, you know, started the, at 12 midnight last night. And I took off the second slot, which is 12.30 to 1. And um, while I was praying, eh, and impressed sa akin, Lord, itong minsahin ito, hindi pa po ako matapos-tapos Hindi po ako matapos-tapos talaga sa prayer ko. Hindi po ako makatulog because of this message that um, gustong, gustong malaman ng lahat. You know? And um, and I feel like uh, I fall short dun sa aking responsibility. And so today, tonight, I have I actually taken I have written this uh, as God uh, impressed to me His word last night. Kagabi po ito to to at at um, one one thirty na po ako siguro ako natapo. And then sabi po ni Lord, most people are not taking the current situation seriously. Totoo po. A lot of people are not taking this situation seriously. Bakit po? You see, people are becoming complacent. No, Some still think that this will just go anytime soon. And they will just sleep over, sleep over it. And when they wake up, it's, it's all gone. Tapos na lahat without even um, doing something, and they're expecting that this will all be gone. You know, some are taking it in strides. You know, and have taken, even have taken the time to enjoy playing games. Uy, ang daming time maglaro ngayon. Ang daming time na mag-tiktok. Daming time 
to engage in social media, indulge in worldly affairs, and some even do not stop with their ambition to get more money, to get rich. Diba? Is the truth. Ito po yung katotohanan. This is what the Lord is telling us. These things happen because God is telling us something. May minsahe po ang Diyos. I mean, so all these things. May minsahe po ang Diyos. May gustong sabihin sa atin ng, ang Diyos. My dear friends, this is a wake-up call for us. This is a wake-up call. The Lord wants us to draw near to Him. That is His message. God has taken most of the things that hinders us from coming to Him. Things that are keeping us busy. Really, totoo po yun, so that we can truly have time to be alone with Him. Kasi wala na tayong time sa Kanya. You've been saying, Diba? Yung po ang sinasabi natin palagi. Now, busy tayo. I don't, I don't have time for the church. I don't have time to pray. May gagawin pa ako. No? Pero gusto na ng Lord, mga kapatid, is that we, we have time for Him. We have time to be alone with Him, to worship Him, to talk to Him, and develop and grow our relationship. This is our time, mga kapatid, with God. This is our time. I'm not saying, mga kapatid, that to be serious is to worry about what is happening. To have fear, yung matakot tayo, what is happening. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying right now is what are we doing? Ano po ang ginagawa natin? sa gitna ng storm na to, what are we doing right now? No? no? People are always looking at something to bash. Diba? Ang tatalino. But where, what, what exactly are we doing in the midst of all this? Mga kapatid, God has said, ito po, you have seen this verse a lot of time. And this is the verse that God wants us to understand truly. And this verse is for us. Para sa atin po ito. It is written in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 13 to 14. I have posted this sa ating group chat. God has said, when I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain or command Lucas to devour the land or send a flock among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face in turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Okay. Some people, well, this is actually for the people of Israel. Some will say that. Some are claiming that. Oh, but brothers and sisters, you have to remember this, that these things were written to teach us. It is written also, mga kapatid, in Romans chapter 15, verse 4, for whatever things were written before, were written for our learning upang tayo po ay mad, may matutunan that we, that we, through the patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope upang magkaroon po tayo ng pag-asa. And this is also written for us to set as an example. Nakasulat po yan sa 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 6 to 11. And sabi po doon, now these things became, became our examples to the intent that we should not last after evil things as they also lasted. 
and do not become idolaters as we as were some of them as it is written the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play sounds familiar sounds familiar di po ba nor let us commit sexual immorality as some of the of them did and in one day 23,000 fell nor let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed by serpents nor complain sounds familiar as some of them also complain and were destroyed by the destroyer now all these things happened to them as examples and they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the ages has come. Mga kapatid, again, let me go back to the Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Sino po ba ang tinutukoy dito? Ang sabi po doon, If my people are you his people, call yourselves Christians and you are of his people you are part of this kasama ka doon bawat isa sa atin at ang sabi niya who are called by my name you are called by his name mga kapatid will humble themselves are you humbling yourself to the Lord Have you done that? Have we really humbled ourselves and pray and seek His face and turn from our wicked ways? Have we done that, really? I was say, singing the song last night as well. Yung, yung kanina pinatutugtog natin, You deserve the glory. God deserves the glory, mga kapatid. God deserves the glory. Ang sabi po sa Psalms chapter 96, verse 8 to 9, Give to the Lord the glory due His name. Bring an offering and come into His court. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before Him, all the earth. God deserves the glory, mga kapatid. nothing nothing should stop us from praying he had us asked us his people to pray to humble ourselves we have been so complacent we have been complacent we have been complacent We take for granted His grace, His love. God is asking us, His people, tayo yun, mga kapatid, tayo. Tayo yun. It's you. Huwag ka nang magturo ng iba. Huwag ka nang maghanap ng iba pa. Ikaw yun, kapatid. Humble. Humble yourselves. Ikaw yun. Sometimes you are asking, some of you may have been asking, uh, what is the church doing in the midst of all this? The question is, sino po ba ang church? Tayo po yun. Ikaw, ako. Ikaw at ako yun, mga kapatid. And the Lord is asking us to humble ourselves and seek His face. Let us turn from our wicked ways. Brothers and sisters, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind.
Let us pray, Lord, mga kapatid. Let us pray. Therefore, mga kapatid, I urge you. I urge you. I beseech you. My brothers and sisters, pray. Pray. Now is the time for us to really pray. Let us repent and forsake our wicked ways. Flee from idolatry. Flee from all those things that His chain has chained you. You are free. You are free. That the truth has set you free. Let us examine our ways. Let us purify our thoughts. Mga kapatid, let us draw near to God and seek His face. Pray. Let us give to the Lord the glory due to His name. I implore you. Let us pray. Pray. Yes, Lord, close your eyes. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for giving us a chance to redeem ourselves, Lord, through your Son, Jesus Christ, through the, the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, con for convicting us, for revealing us the truth, Lord. And thank you, Father God, sapagkat kami po ay tinawag mo muli, Lord, upang manalangin, tunay na manalangin sa iyo, lumapit sa iyo. Iwaksi ang kasalanan sa buhay po namin. Salamat po, Lord, sa pagkakataon. Lord, we humble ourselves to you. We bow down to you, Lord. For apart from you, Lord, we are nothing. Wala po kaming magagawa, Lord. All our righteousness are filthy rags, O oh God. Apart from your Son, Jesus Christ. And we come to you, Lord. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, look upon us with favor. Tignan mo po kami, Lord. Kaawaan mo po ang iyong mga anak, Lord. Hallelujah, Father God. Pinupuri ka namin sa kabila ng lahat ng ito. Niluluwalhati ka namin. Pinasasalamatan ka namin. At nananampalataya kami sa iyong kapangyarihan, Lord. Banal ka, dakila ka, mabuti kang Diyos. You have a great plan for your children. Matindi, Lord, ang iyong, iyong pangako sa amin, Lord, na hindi mo kami iiwan at hindi mo kami pababayaan. Oh, para God, look upon, upon your people, Lord. We are, Lord, turning from our wicked ways, Lord. We nawaksi po namin, Lord, ang aming mga kasalanan, Lord. By the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, cleanse us, Lord. Purify our thoughts. Purify our mind, our hearts, O oh God. Napatuloy, Lord, na ilagay mo sa puso namin ang iyong mga salita. Upang, Lord, hindi kami magkasala sa iyo. Lord, tulungan mo po kami sa gitna ng crisis na ito, ng pandemic na ito, Lord. Tulungan mo ang iyong mga anak, Lord. Lift us up, O oh God. Amidst all these trials and sufferings, amidst these tribulations that we are experiencing, Lord, right now, lift us up, Lord. Itaas mo po kami. Lord, cover us with your wings. Give us strength, Lord. Hallelujah. You have given us, Lord, the, the, your son to save us. Alam namin, Lord, in, through these trials, Lord, we will come out with greater faith, Lord, and greater love on you. Lord, Patuloy mo, Lord, na encourage ang bawat isa, Lord, na magkaroon ng panahon na manalangin, lumapit sa iyo. Yung tunay na manalangin sa iyo. Hindi yung rehearse na panalangin, Lord. Hindi yung panalangin na kung saan lang galing. 
Lord, pero yung, yung panalang yung makipag-usap sa'yo, makipag-niig sa'yo. Let there be, Lord, a revival in ourselves, O God. Lord, sa buhay po namin, magkaroon ng revival kami mismo, Lord. Sa aming pananampalataya, Lord. Paigtingin mo, Lord, ang apoy sa buhay, sa puso ng bawat isa. Oh God. Hallelujah. Patuloy kaming nananampalataya, Lord, na Ikaw ay makapangyarihang Diyos. At Ikaw ang aming Ama, Lord. You will not withhold good things from us, O God. Alam namin niyo, nananampalataya po kami. Lord, we are praying right now for our nation, Lord. Samansang Pilipinas, Lord. Tulungan mo po ang aming presidente, O God. Ang aming gobyerno na malampasan. Lord, ang crisis na ito, ang pandemic na ito, Lord. Do not allow your people to wallow in poverty, O God. Provide all the needs of your people sa Pilipinas. Lord, mahal mo ang bansang Pilipinas. Mahal mo ang mamamayan ng Pilipinas, Lord. We pray, Father God, that you would, Lord, help them, O God. Have mercy on them, O God. Na sa pagkakataong ito, Lord, people will forsake idolatry. Filipino people will forsake idolatry in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Touch the heart of each and every person in the Philippines right now. Lalong-lalo na po yung mga kamag-anak namin, mga mahal namin sa buhay. Touch the hearts, oh God. Gamitin mo po yung mga ang JA1, Lord, ang body of Christ. Upang itaon ang bansa po namin. Touch the hearts, oh God. Of those people who are in power, Lord. Yung mga tao na nasa posisyon, Lord. Touch their hearts, oh God, right now. Para tulungan ang aming gobyerno, ang bawat mamamayang Pilipino, lalo-lalo yung mga mahihirap, Lord. Yes, oh God. Salamat po, oh Diyos. We are praying even, Lord, sa lahat ng OFW right now that are suffering because they have lost their job, Lord. We are praying right now for them, oh God, that you would comfort them, Lord, that you would open a better opportunities, Lord, opportunities, better opportunities, greater opportunities that you would open the windows of heaven, oh God, sa buhay po nila, Lord, that you will supply and you will provide, Lord, magagandang opportunities, Lord, sa kanila. Yes, Lord. Tulungan mo po sila, Lord. Tulungan mo po kami. Lord, ang ekonomiya ng bawat bansa, Lord, Ang bansang ito na kung saan na kami po ay naroon, ang UAE, Lord, I bless mo po, Lord, touch the hearts of the rulers of this nation, O God, that they will give us favor, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, touch the hearts of the rulers of this nation, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, use them as a channel of your blessing, O God. In Jesus' name. Yes, O God. Salamat po, Lord. We bless the nation of Israel, Lord. In Jesus' name. And as we bless them, Lord, bless. You will bless us as well, O God. Ligtas mo po kami, Lord. The virus na ito. The COVID-19 virus na ito. Lord, the blood of Jesus cover us, Lord. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Let your divine protection, Lord, be upon us, O God. We pray, Father God. We pray, Father God. 
kapatid ko that are waiting for a new job kay Krisa, Lord. Alam ko, Lord, may the best na trabaho kang nakalaan sa kanya in Jesus' name. I pray, Father God, sa mga kapatid namin siya, Sharja, Lord, I pray na hindi po siya, Lord, uh, mahawa sa virus, in Jesus, sa virus na COVID-19 in Jesus' name. You are covering him right now by the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Maluwalhati ka, Lord. Malulal hati ka sa buhay po namin, sa buhay ng mga anak. Lord, I pray, Lord, that this instance, this challenge, Lord, will lead us to draw near to you. Na lumapit kami sa iyo. There's nothing in this world that could ever take your place in our, in our life, Lord. Nothing. Ikaw lang, Lord. Sapagat ikaw lang ang tunay na, na nagmahal sa amin. Lord, ikaw lang. Father <laughs> God, we pray that um, to all these people that are watching right now, Lord, hipuin mo po yung puso nila, Lord. That, Lord, magkaroon sila ng pagkakataon ng time spend, Lord, for you, to you, Lord. na talagang mag-pray po ang bawat isa. Mag-pray ang bawat isa. Father God, salamat po, Lord, sa pagtutuwid sa amin for reminding us, Lord. Salamat po. You did not allow us, O oh God, na hindi ma- na na Mabulag, Lord. Lord, remove the veil from our eyes for us to see the truth. Remove, Lord, yung mga bagay na nag uh, lang sa amin upang marinig ang katotohanan. There's the, the, the chief purpose of our life is to glorify you. Salamat po, O Diyos. Patuloy ka namin pinasasalamatan. Itataas, luluwal hatiin. Lord, hallelujah. Salamat po, O Diyos, sa mga tao, Lord, na nakasama ko sa panalahang ito. Salamat po sa buhay ng bawat isa. Lord, hallelujah. We give you all the glory, honor, Praises and adoration and thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. Everybody say, Amen and Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. Salamat po sa pagsama sa gabi po ito sa ating prayer work. Salamat po sa bawat isa at uh, I hope that uh, uh, this has become an eye-opener for us upang mas lalo pa tayong lumapit sa Diyos. Lalo pa tayong uh, manalangin. Let us always pray. Sabi nga po, pray without pray without ceasing. Kapatid, Tinawag ka ng Diyos na manalangin. Ikaw yun. Pray. 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 God bless everyone. Good night.